Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and today I am going to make meatloaf. But I'm not, I already did a video on making meatloaf. I want to show you how I put together a nice seasoning blend for the meatloaf. And um, most of the time though, I even with my video, it's um, it's just so nice when you can make a meatloaf and you, you use um, stovetop stuffing. It, everything's there. It's you don't have to season it any further than just putting the stovetop stuffing in. But today I'm not using stovetop stuffing, so I need to put together a nice spice blend, and I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, I've got my little spice jar here because usually when I do my seasoning blend, it's usually for a couple, maybe two or three meatloafs or one large one. But today we're just doing it for my one just one serving so with that we are going to do two teaspoons of mustard powder okay that is packed set that aside I'm going to put two teaspoons of this paprika in there as well This stuff, you'll love this stuff. I'm going to do one teaspoon of salt. Oh, let's see. I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of thyme. I'm going to do a teaspoon and a half of basil. I love this stuff. So we're going to do... We're going to do a nice heaping teaspoon. It'll come out to a teaspoon and a half. Okay, and black pepper. I want one teaspoon of that. And I want one teaspoon of the garlic. This is also in my newest cookbook, friends. This meatloaf seasoning blend. I've got a lot of seasoning blends in that cookbook. Now with this, I need onion powder. Of course I don't have any because I got all these dehydrated onions. So what I do is I got my little coffee grinder here. I'm just gonna put some of my dehydrated onions in there. And I'm gonna grind them up. you don't hear that that crushing in there and that's pretty good right there so we're going to take a good teaspoon of that and we're going to put it in this meatloaf seasoning I can grind some more of that later and uh, fill my little jar with it alright I'm just going to put my lid on here you can see all that's in there. Here. You can see all that is in there real nice. I'll put my lid on there. And I'm just going to shake it all up. Because you'd mix it all up really, really good. Just give it a good shake. Make sure you give it a second to calm down. Otherwise, it'll be up your nose. Now, see how nice that looks? Absolutely. All right, friends. That's all there is to it. I'm going to have this for this evening when I get ready to do my meatloaf, and all will be good. Here you have it, friends. Make sure you give this a try. You'll absolutely love it. You can also use it in burgers. It does wonderful with hamburgers, too. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.